Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to discuss the new set of coins that the Royal Mint have released today. Now they've released something for everyone really. They've got a new Sovereign, they've got a new 50p, they've got a new one ounce gold. They've even got a one fortieth ounce of gold coin with the new portrait of the king on. Now a lot of people were quite disappointed when they saw that the one ounce Britannias were released with the king's portrait without a crown. And it goes to show that they were holding back, waiting for the king's coronation to be able to release a portrait with the crown on. So it was a quite a clever tactic from the Royal Mint. Now, I'm not exactly sure whether eventually circulated coins will have the same portrait with the king and the crown on, but I really, really hope they do because it looks really, really good. It looks kind of how many people wished the first Britannia that came out this year would have looked. Now, I've got some here to show you and you'll have to excuse the milk spots because these have milk spotted quite bad. But there was a number of people that were quite disappointed when these first came out because they were really hoping that the king was going to have a crown on. You can see this one's quite milk spotted and it just looks a bit plain. When you compare it to the queen and she has a nice crown on her head, it just looks a bit bland. So like I said, I'm not sure after the king's coronation, which is on the 6th of May, so in a week's, week or so's time, whether all 50p's that are in circulation are going to start having the crown on and whether the Britannias are going to start being released with the crown on. I'm not really sure what the plan is. I can imagine that that will be the case because it would be quite nice to see some Britannias with the crowns on. Let's get a couple of them here so you can see. This is a mixture here. This is a mixture. This tube's got a mixture of 2023 Queen and King Britannias in it. And like I said, a lot of people were disappointed when these first came out because they wanted a king on the portrait straight away. But like I said, the Royal Mint have held back and they, they have announced today that they're releasing all these new coins. And like I said, there's a lot of different coins. There is literally something for everyone. There's a really, really nice sovereign. There's a 140th ounce gold coin, which looks really cool as well. Now, a lot of them are sold out straight away. And I know Backyard Bullion jumped on the queue in the morning and there was thousands of people ahead of him in the queue. And I had a little look and I kind of thought I was going to hold back because I wasn't particularly fussed about buying anything. I wasn't even going to buy anything because I've been a bit disappointed with the Royal Mint's performance lately in terms of quality control. It's been a bit disheartening when I've been getting proof coins and they've had issues. And to be honest, I've been fairly lucky with my proof coins from the Royal Mint, but I've seen countless YouTubers unboxing coins and having to send them back over and over again. And although that experience has only happened to me once, it's still very disappointing to kind of watch these videos and see all these quality control issues because it almost puts you off buying proof coins because you're just kind of expecting there to be a problem. And instead of unboxing the coin and looking at it and getting excited, you're almost looking at it with an eagle eye trying to find where the flaws are. So it's a bit of a shame because they've really let themselves down over the last couple of years. And a lot of people have said this. They've said that it's almost like they're trying to money grab and just release all these new series and they quickly tried to release all these new series when the queen passed away to try and cash in on it and it was a bit of a shame because there was a lot of series that kind of got rushed out and it seems like quality control took a back step and a lot of coins like i said that i've been watching on other channels have been sent back time and time again only to be replaced with a coin that's also subpar so yeah, like I said, it's a bit of a shame and it almost takes away the, the experience of buying a proof coin because, like I said, instead of unboxing the proof coin and getting excited about it and looking at the design, instead you're looking past the design and you're trying to analyse every single part of the coin and look for the scratches and the dinks and the dents because you don't want to put it away in your long-term stack and in a few months' time get it out to show someone or get it out yourself to have a look at and then you know it's a scratch and by then it's too late to send it back. So, yeah, it's a bit disappointing and that was the main reason why in my head I decided that I wasn't going to be buying any of these coins. However, I've just logged in now and I thought I'd have a little look. I'll see what's left and I'll see if there's anything that takes my fancy. And I do think it could potentially 
be a good investment long term. Now, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. You've always got to make your own investment decisions. And when you're investing in proof coins, it is very, very risky because you're not just relying on the spot price of the precious metal to rise. You're also relying on the collectability side of things to rise and desirability of the coin also. So you have got to be careful because when you're buying these proof coins, you are paying way over spot. And like I said, you are paying for a really, really perfect condition quality coin. And if you're not getting a perfect condition quality coin or you do get one and it's got a few marks that you miss, then you come to sell it in a few years time. You're really going to see a drop in that premium if it's not perfect, because people do expect perfect coins when they're buying proof coins. So with that being said, I had a little look through the website and I would have quite liked one, the 140th ounce of gold, although it is a crazy high premium and very, very small piece of gold. I just thought it'd be quite cool because I don't often bring out 140th ounces in the proofs and I just thought it was quite an interesting piece. I haven't seen it on the Raw Mint before, so I thought that'd be quite cool, but obviously that sold out fairly quickly. Now, like I said, there's not much left on the website. There's a couple of five pound uh, silver coins on there and they are sterling silver so they're actually 925 silver which means they're 92.50% silver instead of 100% silver like the one ounces and there's a couple of gold coins on there I think there's a one kilogram gold coin on there which is like 77,000 so I thought I'd steer clear of that one but yeah back to what I actually purchased and I actually decided to go for the silver proof five pound coin now, the silver proof five pound coin is four pounds fifty cheaper than the one ounce silver coin. Let me just show you on the screen here. So you can see this is the one that I went for. I went for the five pounds silver proof. And like I said, this is sterling silver. So it's 925 silver. So it's 92.50% silver as opposed to the one ounce, which is 999 fine silver. Now you can see this was four pounds fifty cheaper, and the actual coin as a rule is slightly smaller as well so you are actually getting obviously less silver for your money even though you're still paying a heavy premium and the reason i went for this coin in particular normally i would have gone for the one ounce 999 fine coin but when i clicked on this to have a little look at it and don't get me wrong it's a gorgeous looking design and like i said i really really do like the king with a crown on i think it looks really great and like i said a lot of people were disappointed when these First Britannia's come out and there wasn't a crown on them because some people expected there to be a crown. But obviously, this is what they were holding off for. They're waiting for the coronation so it's official. And then they could start releasing the new batch with the, the crown on the portrait. So, yeah, really gorgeous looking coin. And like I said, the reason I chose not to pick up the one ounce version is simply because of the mintage now the limited mintage is 17,500 which is very very high for a proof coin and I know why they've done it so high because they know this is going to be a popular coin it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for people to purchase a kind of coronation coin like this but it just really puts me off seeing a mintage of 17,500 just really put me off and that was enough for me to not buy this coin and I continued shopping around on the website. And like I said, I settled for the five pound coin in the end. Now, like I said, this is only sterling silver. So it's not three nines fine. But I do actually really, really like the design on there. It's a close up of the crown. It looks really, really nice. It's got kind of writing around the rim, which I really like. I think that's a really cool feature. You can see it says the date of the coronation on there, 6th of May 2023. And I just think that looks like a gorgeous looking piece of silver. Now you've also obviously got the king with the crown on still. And like I said, it is slightly smaller than the one ounce 999 fine. And it hasn't got full percentage of silver in this coin. However, the mintage is only 12,500. So again, it's still quite a high mintage compared to some of the other releases in the past. But it is 5,000 less than the one ounce. Uh, proof version so that's my thought process behind it i decided to go for this i thought it was pretty cool because i haven't got any silver proof five pound coins i don't think in my collection at the moment and the main reason i wanted to get hold of it was mainly just for this portrait because i think it looks brilliant and like i said i really hope that they start releasing the same portrait on the Batanias because that'll be really cool and i hope they do release this design in circulation let me know if you know the plan will they be releasing this version in circulation eventually after the 6th of May or 
or will they continue to use this portrait? I'm guessing now they started putting these on the coins, that will be the way forward. But again, I'm not 100% sure on that. So yeah, if anyone knows, do let me know. But yeah, this is why I went for the five pound silver proof coin, purely because the mintage is 5,000 lower. So I do think that this one has more potential to do well in the future, simply because there's less of them gonna be knocking around. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on on my pickup let me know if you would have gone for this one or whether you've gone for something else or whether you're sitting back and you're not buying anything this time round. the um sovereign looks really nice i'm guessing sovereign saurus jumped on there and grabbed a couple of sovereigns i think the sovereign the full sovereign was like 850 pounds i believe so so yeah really high premium as are all these proof pieces but again they're kind of collectible. You're buying them in the hope that they're going to go up in value. And you're not just buying them in the hope that they're going to go up in value. You're buying them for the collector side of you. You're buying them to add to your stack to be able to appreciate in years to come. And like I said, it's kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity when you're picking up these coronation commemorative coins. So yeah, you can see it's 925 sterling silver. And it's a proof standard. So hopefully it arrives and we've got no issues with the coin. I will unbox it when it gets here. But like I said, let me know what you've decided to go for. Are you sitting on the fence still with this new release or are you getting involved? As always, thanks very much for watching my videos. Thanks for all the support and I hope you have a nice day.